It all started exactly a year ago when I packed my life into a suitcase and flew 3,000 miles across the country to Colorado Springs. To be honest, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. I just knew it was going to be one hell of a ride. My first real trip was to Joe's Valley in Utah. It was an incredible experience, but I knew I could send harder. And so it was back to the gym, back to training. About 80% of my training is campus runs. To avoid tendon injury, use a half crimp or open hand grip. Ladders are the best way to measure progress and gradually increase difficulty. When you get to harder sequences, you can use your bottom hand to push yourself up. If you can't do a sequence, break it down into single moves. Bumps also help build lockoff strength and can be catered to any level. Bump up as high as you can, then come down, skipping as many rungs as necessary to make the exercise difficult. Power endurance is something that is often overlooked with campus runs. For this exercise, do three touches on each side to the highest run you can comfortably reach. Then rest two minutes. And repeat nine more times. I call this last one rapid fire. 
The idea is to go up as fast as you can without straightening your elbows. Do sets of two or three ladders followed by a two or three minute break. And as you may have guessed, repeat nine more times. In February 2013, I signed up for ABS Open Nationals. After flashing the first two problems, I ended up qualifying in the top 10. Unfortunately, semifinals kind of kicked my ass, but I knew what I had to work on for next year. A pulley allows you to do harder workouts by taking weight off. Pull up without using momentum, hold for 3 seconds, then slowly come down. One set of one arm pull ups consists of three pull ups on each side. The goal is to do 10 sets. After you feel comfortable using the pulley, you can move on to free body exercises like Frenchies and negatives. A Frenchie is a series of lockoffs at 0, 45, 90, and 120 degrees. Negatives work the downward motion of a one-arm pull-up. Pull up, release one hand, then come down as slowly as possible. Aim to do between three and five consecutive negatives on each side. A pulley can also be used to do one-arm dead hangs or to hang on holds you normally wouldn't be able to pull on. Do five dead hangs on each side for each type of grip. Suspension trainers allow you to work on both core and balance. Do five one minute reps of each of the following exercises with one minute rest in between.
finish the workout with leg lifts and levers. I guess my whole purpose in making this video is to show you guys that training does pay off. It took me two years just to climb a V4. This is me, six years later, sending Gusher, my first V11.